Hello happy YouTubers! This is Marcelina at CashierGreens.com It has been a few days since I made my last video but here I am, I'm back. What I'm going to talk about today is how to get rid of gnats around your home and prevent them from returning back. Don't click away, be right back. Getting rid of gnats is simple as long as you know what kind of gnats you're dealing with. There are two types of gnats, biting and non-biting. Common gnats you see flying around your home are non-biting like fruit flies or green flies and fungus gnats. Gnats are destructive, nuisance and sometimes drive you nuts because they get to your plants, to your face and to your nose. If you don't treat them properly, soon enough gnats will overrun your whole house. Although adult female gnats like fungus gnats don't actually feed on the roots of the plant but they will lay up to 300 eggs in its cycle. With the proper temperature at 75 degrees warmer, these 300 eggs will eventually hatch in 3 days and form larvae. It takes 10 days for the larvae to form pupae and from pupae it takes 4 days to emerge as an adult. Then the cycle starts all over again. The most dangerous stages of development is in larva stage. If they are outnumbered, these larvae will eventually kill your house plants and young seedlings because they will nibble or chew the roots of the plants and sometimes they make tunnel in between roots just to seek extra food to eat. This activity alone is enough to create a significant damage to your plant root hair causing your plant to wilt and die in the process. So how do we kill these gnats and prevent them from coming back? In this video, I will show you guys steps on how to get rid of gnats for good. Before we move on guys, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Also, always remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of our next future videos. We don't want to miss any valuable information. Alright, let's get to it. Do gnats drive you nuts? Here's my simple solution how to get rid of gnats around the house and around the plants. Hydrogen peroxide, neem, and apple cider vinegar. Neem can be applied in liquid form or in solid form. If you need these products guys, just check the link below this video. Alright, to get rid of gnats around the house, you will need two steps of action. Elimination and prevention. In your elimination, you're going to remove of something that attracts to them. This can be food or water or both. Now, let's say you want to get rid of gnats around your plants and prevent them from returning back. Fungus gnat is one of the most common problems that we all have faced growing plants indoors. So for indoor plants lovers out there, thank you for joining me here. To get rid of fungus gnats around your plants, you will need to eliminate the source first, then second, the prevention. You're going to remove food and water supply. Now before you do all of the steps, it is important that you will need to know the life cycle of fungus gnats. Understanding their existence and the growth development allows you to control and manage the infestation. Now fungus gnats have four stages of life. egg larva, pupa, and adult. In the adult stages of life, an adult female fungus gnat will look or find an adult male fungus gnat to mate. Male will impregnate the female, and as soon the female is pregnant and is due to lay eggs, she will look for a better environment that is wet, warm, and humid. If you have overwatered plants and overwatered plants is a perfect breeding ground of fungus gnats so this pregnant female fungus gnat will get into that environment and lay eggs with a perfect temperature at 75 degrees warmer this eggs will hatch in three days within three days they form larva now larvae takes 10 days before they become pupae so they have 10 days to ruin everything I call this event the ruin <laughs> so this larvae will be hungry and look for food so anything they can find they will eat fungi uh, organic dead matter in the soil and even roots of the plants causing your plants to collapse now to get rid of them for good it is important that you know their cycle 
So you will be targeting the larva and stop their metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the biological transformation of animal birthing or egg hatching, meaning uh, stopping the growth of the nets. So to, in order for you to stop, you have to use the name either oil or powder. Neem contains azadiractin, a chemical, natural chemical in the neem that kills the larvae. When it is ingested, the larvae stop eating, so meaning starving to death. So it stops their growth hormones. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the neem both oil and powder, but there is a lot of I have videos on how I use neem to treat fungus disease on citrus and roses. I would highly recommend you guys watch that video. Now, let's go ahead and do the elimination. So first we're going to eliminate the water supply. Now when I eliminate water supply, any excess of water must be eliminated because excess water allows the gnats to breed. Now I have here my aglonema. I just separated this one guys and in fact oops they have this grown in knit cap. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So I just removed it in the pot and I bought that in one of the nurses. When I found out you know in the nursery they're using this uh, core but I found out that it was saturated and it is perfect for breeding uh, fungus nuts. So I remove it, I let it dry and remove it and separate it. Now here is one of the aglonemas, look at that. So to eliminate the excess water, to prevent uh, overwatering, I use wiki grow. And I would recommend you guys to use wicking because it is really great gardening methods. It makes uh, it delivers a perfect amount of water to the plants. So basically you're the one who controls the water, how much water you're giving to the plants. So by doing this, if you can see that, you can buy spans in marks for $3 and then just insert here. Now I use the media, where's my media here? I use the, the media from the orchids and I mix in the cactus, succulent. And that's why I have this chunk. So try to avoid uh, using a lot of cocoa core because once it is saturated, it takes a while to, to dry the surface. So use any materials that it is coarse. And some people, they use gravel as a top dressing. I normally don't use gravel. I know it is great in uh, preventing the nuts from getting in. But the thing is that if you are sealing your plants, you have to take out those gravels and for me, it's better to use this because I can tape it and then ready to go and I just pull this one and put in the bag and shape my plants. So I sell plants so I don't use gravel. Now then after now you control you control the water supply. So this is preventing from overwatering. Now the second step is prevention. Now if you already have a infestation going on so the first thing you need to do by eliminating it is to remove the soil and replace a new soil and then make sure that the soil is not really too too much of cocoa fiber or cocoa core now after you remove after you eliminate the excess water then your elimination is the food supply now fungus nuts the adult fungus nut actually don't ruin your plants the larvae are the one responsible in chewing the roots of the plants so anything that is uh, any any leaves that are touching on the soil you have to remove it because if it is touching like that it allows fungus and also when when it becomes decayed then the larvae will will eat that so it's not a good habit of having the plants uh, leaving those decaying decaying leaves so remove everything that is touching remove everything that that are touching on the soil i just can't talk guys but just be be with me okay 
So that's it. So you eliminate the, the water by using the wicked grow and also eliminate, eliminating the food supply by keeping the soil surface dry and also keeping the leaves upright, not touching to the soil. All right, so we remove the food and water. The second step is the prevention. Now, the prevention, what I did here, I had two things that I have done here. Is this one? Is that so cute? Look at this one. I I bought this uh, flower base for ten dollars, and I placed my aglunima here, and it looks great for that. Now, to prevent the fungus not to to kill the larvae, what I did here, I put the neem powder, and then replace with the wood chip. You can add wood chip or uh, any coarse uh, materials to keep the top dry but since it is in the wicked grow, grow methods so this one would not be saturated it's just like enough for the plants to keep it going now this one here i place a sponge just a little bit in here to absorb the water and i place in here now let me show you how to make i will i will use this one all right now i have this name again what's my name with you guys I just uh, do this one that is already finished. So I have this name. I I had one fourth of one one fourth ml of name mixed in a quart of water, and then I I place in the bottle. So this is the name. So what you will need. What I did here. Let's see. I will use this one as an example. I will place this in here and then I will add the name just to saturate the material right so you just mix it until it becomes wet you soak it now after you soak the materials I will place this on the top surface the base of the plant. So this is saturated with 100% pure name. Now in order to start the prevention, I'm going to add water. Just enough to distribute some of the chemicals present in the wood chip. Is that so cool? I think it's so cool. Alright, you just need to a boost in that smell. So the nuts, just just the smell of it. Just the smell of the smell. Just the smell of the nib oil is enough to drive those nuts away. So okay, now you already place the saturated oil. What I'm going to do, I'm going to top dress with another dry I just shake a little bit to mix the solvent 
So when it is break down, this is so great. Now after that, I will add to my water. All right. So I just add to my water. That's enough. That's like that. Now the hydrogen peroxide in the bottom. Name on the top. So when the nut get in, in there, when they lay eggs, when they hatch, the larvae died. So no more nuts. <laughs> so right. Another way is using the neem powder. Now Greg Greg asked me how much up neem powder are you applying to that plant? All of my indoor plants are treated like this. So when I sell my plants, if you guys uh, uh, get one of our plants, you will see this sudas <laughs> or wood, wood chip. All right, so I'm going to get, I'm going to mix the powder. So this is another elimination or prevention. And since I lost my shaker, it is, it is better if you have a shaker, but I will look for spawn. All right, so I will use the powder treatment in my Meyer lemon. So I'm using the powder. Oh, everything is dropping here, guys. Just bear with me, all right? So this is my Meyer lemon, and I'm going to do my treatment so I will clean first this is my elimination taking out this debris so the nets this larvae don't attack my root okay now it's clean Okay, I'm going to eliminate these leaves that are touching on the soil surface. So it is important that you need to keep your plants clean. Okay, so now it's clean. Now, you only need one this spoon of neem since I don't have the thing in here so I just use this one but I have to just little bit of neem enough to cover just like that but you need one tablespoon so what you will need is to spread onto soil that's as, as I said it is better if you have a shaker but I lost my shaker I might have to get a new one Okay, so spread around it. This is very effective, guys, in controlling fungus gnats. All right, see that? Now, it's already in on the soil. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to water it so chemicals will absorb and give into the root. okay now that it is wet to keep it dry on the surface i will add another extra so i will tap dressing with this wood chip wood chip is lighter so if someone is going to buy my Meyer lemon they will see this wood chip on top of the dressing <laughs> all right so that's it now here's another thing that I'm going to uh, I'm going to give you the information so if you have this one guys you will need to not don't water on the top because you don't want saturate your topsoil 
the best way is water below now there is a three days of watering so when i water my house plants i don't water every day i watered only three days but since my my house plants are wicking in the wicking in the wicking methods but for those of you who don't use the wicking methods you only need half of the water and that is enough for you to uh, skip for three days you just need this is the root of the plant the root is up in the middle you just need half of this bottle to reach to that point just enough for the root to drink you don't want too much water if you put in here then the excess water especially if you have saucer then it would accumulate that water in there and causing the soil to be overwatered oh, no not over to be saturated so you need only one one half of the water in per container it doesn't matter how big or small is the container it takes that three days and it's enough to make the root wet all right so we did our fungus nest elimination now other nuts like fruit flies fruit flies i have problems of fruit flies what i did uh hold on what i did i brought my produce inside the house and the following day fruit flies are over you know overrun my house was were was overrun with fruit flies so greg said like what did you what happened here so i have to open the door and keep pushing this fruit fly <laughs> but the best way to do guys to uh, prevent the fruit flies from getting in is to eliminate the fruits that are overripe especially bananas bananas are uh are magnet for fruit flies if you have banana around <laughs> Predispose dispose them right away or keep in the fridge if you think the banana has still uh, a day or two of self life. You can serve banana any anything that is fermented or or rotten, even food. So, if you have a dirty dishes, wash them right away. So, that that would be the first uh, elimination that you can do is to remove everything that attracts to them. So, that's what I did. I make sure that everything is dry because they will breed in the crack. If it is uh, wet and uh, warm, so they breed and they breed like more than 500 eggs and they complete the cycle for only 10 days. That's a short period of time that they, they will overrun your house if you don't eliminate them as much as you can. So in eliminating fruit flies, you have to remove everything, especially the drain. What I did in my drain, I cannot put neem in the drain so what i did i use bleach i know bleach is it's not great for you even it's not great for the, pl the flies it is not great for you either so if you are using bleach it really kills the larvae but you have to open the window so you don't suffocate with the fume and uh what happened they're just like thin in the air that they just come from nowhere they will get in from outside then getting into your house if you have window that it has cracked so you have to repair your window your door have to screen it so that they don't come come in but the only way of elimination is to get rid of them by removing uh, food make sure that the surface is clean and dry especially the bathroom clean everything dry so basically just everything has to be clean now I will show you in here a lot of people use the funnel method now trapping is the best way to get rid of, of flies so I will use this one guys okay so I will put this one here I will put this one here so I want to show you you can use uh, you can use uh, a bowl or any kind or a, a glass to trap the flies so but if you cannot find glass this is the easiest and cheap method of doing it you just cut this bottle half let me show you here so uh, i will cut this trapping is the best way to get rid of fruit flies fruit flies come on commonly uh, seen in restaurant in supermarket and in the house when there is food so they attract food all right so by using this now 
I will cut this one a little bit. This is called the funnel method. You can use also paper, but you know, just do the simplest way. Okay. Now you can just place like that. And once they get inside in there, they have no idea how to get out. This is simple. When you use an apple cider vinegar, you need an apple cider, uh, vinegar, apple cider because it's fermented. They love the smell. And sometimes they use uh, sugar uh, mixed with vinegar and place in the trap. You can do that. And what I found effective if you use banana, banana apple, I mean, those rotten banana and apple, you can place that cut in, in chunk and place in the bowl or in the bottle and add the vinegar so they will attract to the banana but this way I'm just using the vinegar now you don't have to put too much and if you can have the two fingers that's what you need so I I like the bottle because I can see it like that so I can just place up here no now I'm going to put this one here I run out of apple cider vinegar so this is enough all right so those flies will get in not the gnats will get inside and then cannot escape so i don't worry about my plants because i have neem when they get in the neem they will just die instantly and i will place this in the sink because in the sink is one of the source will be bred in the drain because it's wet so you place this one in the sink or if you don't use the name you can use this one in the plants still work but again use the name to prevent these gnats from getting in the larvae are the one responsible for getting rid of getting rid of everything ruining everything so this is for today guys i hope this video help so again use name uh, do the elimination first so you can prevent it properly so do my methods if you want this type of methods you can use the oil or the powder either way neem is effective natural prevention you can use it inside outside or inside your house and you can even spray i don't spray my plants because if i spray my plants it re the plants reacts to the neem but i use what if i clean my plants i use two drops of hydrogen peroxide and a solution mix water water mix with food nutrients so what i did i put a sponge and i clean it so the sponge the uh, leaves will absorb the nutrients from the uh, water and also the hydro hydrogen peroxide helping the plants to have that extra oxygen okay so if you have any other ideas guys apart from this methods that i showed it to you write that in your comments below if you have any questions uh, write free to write your comments and i would be happy to uh, to answer all your questions and by the way guys before i wrap this up <laughs> just to spread the words castyourgreens.com is now ru oh, uh, running and it's open and running and we are so excited because fi finally there so if you are looking for certain plants like citrus hoya or anything that you're looking for so just check this site and i will link the description below this video so go look around uh, look for merchandise and any products that i mentioned here so while i'm doing here in this video my purpose in my channel is to help you out guys in doing something that is more advanced and since this is an advanced gardening channel i'm so happy to share my experience with you so thank you again guys this is marceline at cashewgreens.com grow green and grow big if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to our channel guys and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified about our next future videos we don't want to miss any valuable information share the video if you want and also see you next week bye bye